Hi everybody, I'm so glad to have you with me here on the farm today. Today I'm going to tell you about our most recent trip to Arkansas. Now, why I say most recent is because this is actually not the first time we've been. And we go to the home of P. Allen Smith and it's called Moss Mountain Farms. Now, before I dive into our trip and what breeds we came back with, I can't talk about our trip to Arkansas without stopping and saying um, that we did arrive a few hours after, after the very devastating tornadoes. So if you have um, the, a moment, it would be good if you would all stop and pray for the people in Arkansas, the people who lost family members, the people who lost their homes. Um, we did see a lot of the devastation that happened there and it was truly awful. So I can't talk about our trip without saying please if you can and you're able to, to support the people in Arkansas to help with that relief effort please do and if not pray. So if you have never been to Moss Mountain Farms and you're a chicken lover or a gardener, I would highly suggest you put this on your list. It is unlike any other thing. We went last year. We said we were going to wait and we wouldn't go again anytime soon, but another year rolls around and we were very interested in one of the specific breeds that he raises. and. Here we were driving six hours back to Arkansas. So not only does he run the Heritage Poultry Conservancy, which his goal with that is to raise awareness of heritage breeds and why you should raise them. He raises many breeds of heritage breed poultry and turkeys. He also has sheep on the farm and ducks and geese. It's always a really fun event that we really enjoy going to. So this time we went with the intention of buying Silver Laced Wine Dots. Now they're one of his favorites along with the Buff Orpingtons of course that we got last year. We actually got more this time just so that we could add to our genetic diversity. We really love to buy from his flocks. They're just absolutely beautiful. He's been selectively breeding them for years, so we know that they are very top quality, and we just love going. So we went to go get a Silver Lace Wine Dot Trio, and they're beautiful. We're very happy to have them and to add them to the heritage breeds that we provide on the farm. But we also ended up getting a few extra things that we weren't intending to get. So we came back with these, and these are called Cuckoo Dorkings. Now Dorkings have been around since about 45 AD. And the reason we know that is because the Romans spoke of the five-toed chicken. They are very endangered. There are not many of them around anymore, and we are now probably one of the only five flocks of cuckoo dorkings in the United States. So, and we bought, we got four of them. We got two pairs so that we have a kind of a, a variety of genetics. All right, so here's our other set of cuckoo dorkings. Obviously, um, I'll go ahead and confess to y'all guys, we came home with 11 full grown chickens. Um, in my rather small Dodge journey. So that was fun. That was a fun little experience. As you can tell, he was a cull because his waddle did not develop on one side. So he's got one really long waddle and then one that like barely developed at all. So he will probably eventually be a cull, but you can tell he really does have some nice genetics in there. So we're looking forward to that. Again, what I find so interesting about this breed specifically, they were originally bred for meat chicken, and every household had some. You know, they were extremely common. 
And I think they are an example of why it is so important to have heritage breeds and for people to keep heritage breeds. Also, one of the things I wanna talk about in this video is why selective breeding is so important to me. In other breeding industries, for example, dogs, um, you know, cause I have, I've dabbled in that area. You know, breeders have certain standards and you're not supposed to breed dogs. It's kind of a rule unless you are trying to better the breed. So you're not breeding dogs to make money. You're not breeding dogs just to have more of them. You're not supposed to breed them unless you are trying to better the breed. And I don't know why this is not a conversation that people are having about chickens, considering this extremely important food source, I'm, I'm unsure of. Because the problem is, is that all of our commercial breeds, we've really gotten it down to very few and the potential that that could, that system could crash and a disease come along that wipes them all out. We will have to go back to these heritage breeds so that we can re-engineer what we current, the same type thing that we currently use. So anyway, I think it is very important that we keep these heritage breeds alive. And this one, again, had almost gone extinct, especially in this color. All right, so the other equally rare breed that we now have are called Pinchions. These are called Pinchions, and guys, I just think they're adorable. If you can't tell, they're very small, and they could definitely be considered palm chickens. You could hold them in your hand. They are a little bit flightier than um, the other chicken breeds that I am more accustomed to having, but I just had to have them because, I'll be honest, of how rare they are. Uh, you you would have to look far and wide to find a Pinchion Bantam. So I'm extremely curious to see what these chicks look like. Um, they're not quite as rare as the Dorking, um, but they are a heritage breed. They have been around for a very long time, and I just think they're beautiful, especially um, the rooster's tail feathers. Y'all already know how much I love my Bantams. So this was a very fun addition to the King Cross Farms. And I can't wait until we have these to offer to um, our clients here at King Cross Farms. Thanks for joining me on the farm today. We'll keep you updated on our heritage breed journey. Bye guys.